me again. I? What am I, a pirate? I! It's me again. I! Oh boy. Mommy needs some sleep. Okay, so I decided I got the funniest, funniest comment yesterday. Um, Coasty's wife, too, who's my pal, and I love her. And I won't use her real name in case she doesn't want me to, but she is one of my subscribers and she is just a doll, just a doll. And her husband serves in the military and I just think that that is something that we should all, you know, be thankful for and proud of because he's protecting us. And so thank you for that, darling, and tell your husband thank you. And we, you know, we, we don't forget, trust us, we don't. Okay, so anyway, um, she left this comment on my, um, one of my videos that said, I love, cause you know, I think we were talking about how I won't, I won't ever change and that I know I blabber on and whatever. And she's like, you know, don't change. She's like, I love the fact that we have like a chat fest before every video. And I guess I do do that. But because you know what? I, I have to say, I don't like when people take themselves too seriously. And you know, I like the, the gurus on here that are fun and, you know, don't mind putting a blooper on their reel, you know, on their video or, you know, showing us their lives and their dogs and their kids. And I, I like that about people. I like seeing their real life. I like seeing that they're real people. And I hate the, the videos that, and I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone again, you know me. There's no filter. It just comes out of my pie hole. But I, I don't like infomercial type videos. I can't stand them. As a matter of fact, I have to say, there were a couple this weekend for some people that I am subscribed to, some of the giant, like, giant gurus on here, and I unsubscribed. Because if I want to watch an infomercial, which I do enjoy, by the way, I do, I, I don't want to watch them on YouTube. I'll turn on QVC. You know, I don't, I think it's great when somebody gets sponsored by a company and, you know, is enlisted to sell their products or to... But honestly, even if you're employed by a company or you are sent items for consideration, I think that everybody on YouTube, including, you know, your, your viewers, just really deserve an honest opinion about the product because they're going to spend their hard-earned money on it. And I guess it bothers me that you don't know if you're getting the truth or not because they're being compensated. And I have to say, if I were compensated and if anybody came to me, and said, you know, I'm sending you this. I would really like you to do a review. I would say first, truthfully, I'm going to give an honest opinion. I'm going to be very grateful that you sent it to me. I'm going to be very grateful that, you know, you uh, you respect my opinion enough to, to bring it to my viewers, who I respect immensely. But I am going to tell the truth. And um, there were so many of them this weekend that just, I'm like, unsubscribe, unsubscribe. I just was upset. I felt like. What if I now go out and spend that $200 on that whatever hair thing, and it stinks? All right, I'm on my soapbox. I don't know why, because really this video was about my chat fest, and I'm about telling you about my weekend. So I'm sorry if I just made anyone mad, but I guess the bottom line is I respect you guys too much to like blow smoke up your butt. And I don't want you to spend your really hard-earned money on crap, right? <sighs> Okay, well, I guess I'm never going to get any sponsors, but that's okay, because I want you guys to be happy, and that's my first and foremost want, right? Yes. Okay, anyway, let me tell you about Mother's Day really quickly. So, I wake up in the morning, and I'm kind of like, oh boy, what's going to happen? Because, you know, the birthday wasn't so great. And um, it was sweet. I woke up, and I went into, you know, I toddled into the bathroom, and there's a big bouquet of flowers on my... Um, we've like a double sink, you know, like there's two sinks and then there's like a little, like a vanity type of area. In between them, there's giant bouquet on the little vanity area and that was sweet. And then I came back to bed and I guess while I was going to the bathroom, the kids and my husband ran downstairs and brought up a big platter of strawberries with sugar to eat in bed. And so we all laid in my bed and we ate strawberries and that was fun. And then I came downstairs and there was another bouquet. This is one of Rose's um, on the island. I got this granite island in the center of the kitchen. And so there was another one, which was so sweet. 
And um, then the kids gave me cards and they made me cry. I don't know. I've been really emotional lately. And I'm just like, yeah, this is the best kid in the world. I mean, I was bawling. My son was like, Mama, no cry. I'm like, no, good tears. I swear, good tears. He was like a little scared. So, um, and London gave me the cutest, cutest card. She was, like, she was like, I'm the easiest kid. You don't have to drive me to baseball practice. You don't have to help me with my homework. You don't have to, you know, make dinners for me. I like to, you know, eat leftovers. And I'm the perfect kid. I was like, you're right. My dog is my perfect kid. She is. Okay. So that was really cute. And my husband bought me a beautiful sentimental card that made me cry too. So then, um, Caden, my little, little, um, made me close my eyes and brought me outside to our patio. And there was this gorgeous lounge chair that I have been coveting for the pool. Like when I lay by the pool, when I watch the kids swim, it's like five inches thick, the cushion and it's wicker and it reclines and oh, it's like being in bed. It's heaven. And my husband really knew I wanted one because I have those like Fuma chairs. I don't know if you know what they are, but you like you recline back in them and you're you're almost like you're like your whole body's off the ground and I like them a lot but I just wanted something that was cushy and soft I have a really bad back and eventually I'm gonna need surgery on it so something like that is really helpful for me and so I'm gonna lay about the pool with my magazines make sure the kids don't drown in ultimate comfort so that was great and I was really excited and I have to tell you what I really want you're going to make fun of me for this. I want a Vespa. I do. Wouldn't that be fun? Turn around, like to the supermarket with like the wind in your face. I don't know. Maybe I'm having a midlife, cri bleh, midlife crisis, but I really totally want one. So my husband's like searching for one for me. But what if they're like $16,000 or something? I'm like, hell no. That's a car. No. So I want to try to find maybe a used one. I think that would be, I don't know. My friends are like, What's the matter with you? I'm like, listen, maybe I'm having a midlife crisis, but like, I'm not cheating on my husband or anything. So maybe this is, you know, if a Vespa is what I got to do, it's what I got to do. Right? Okay. So anyway, after that, we went to a craft show downtown where we live. They have um, a bunch of local artists that have like jewelry and art and all kinds of cute, kitschy things. And that was a lot of fun. It was very windy and very cold. I was completely muzzled up. It was crazy. And my little guy was like, foo, foo, easing to death. So I kind of felt bad. But so we didn't stay too long outside. But, you know, we did a little shopping and that was fun. And then we went to my favorite, favorite, favorite place for brunch ever in the history of the world. And you have to get reservations like three months in advance for Mother's Day. And my hubby remembered. And so we went there and I ate till I was sick. And then I went to bed early. So that was my day and it was wonderful. And I called my mommy because she's in Florida and I miss her and I'm sad that I wasn't with her. But I got to talk to her and we texted back and forth during the day because that's what we do. We do a lot of texting. So it was a great day and I hope you guys had a great, great, great day. And I hope that you got to spend it with someone you love, even if it's not a mom or even if you're not a mom. I hope you got to be with people that you care about on Mother's Day. And that's it. So there's my chat. I did a whole video on me rambling on. Don't worry, I'll warn you in the caption. So if you don't want to listen to me blabber, you don't have to. Okay, I'm off to Ulta because I have a 20% coupon. So I'm going to go to Ulta and see if there's any goobie, goody, goobies? Any goodies that I can find there. Um, there's an Urban Decay pencil I think I want to pick up. So I think I'm going to get that. Okay, have a wonderful Monday, and I love you guys. Have the best week. If I don't see you, hopefully I will, and if not, see you soon. Mwah!